Hello frogs, how's it going? Welcome to the Reston and the Frog. This is the Reston and I am the Frog. And first and foremost, happy May the 4th and happy birthday to me. <laughs> Today we are gonna see how to build this double speed item sorter and how to set it up basically. These are the materials you will need. As you can see, it's pretty simple. Now, also we will need two items. I like to do it with two items like that for the filters and I will let you know why. So first let's, let me show it to you. This is Ilmango's design and as you can see the main body like this part it's pretty much like Impulse's V sorter and Ilmango did this thing. Now we also need <laughs> barrel chest or whatever. So now let's make a little quick building tutorial. Oops. <laughs> so we place a block, temporary block behind and up and another temporary block and up this is where the retorts will go and this is where the items will be flowing from the top a repeater pointing towards the torch without delays or anything now we go on top shift jump block and we place three one two three as you can see comparator pointing out and three redstone now we go in front of the torch, we place a temporary block and we place our storage, it can be barrel, chest, whatever. Now we break this and we place one hopper pointing into the back and one on top. This is what will, it's gonna make it double hopper speed and now we place the hopper that will be the first sorter. This one pointing into this hopper, we go up and on top of here this one like this pointing down and that's the second sorter and you will see why in a moment now the items should be flowing in this direction over the eyes and the hopper and we can set it up with a water current and a chest so the item it is just flowing on top something like this you see with some iron bars on top of the hopper so the water doesn't spill over now the sorter <laughs> there is some jar here probably we are gonna sort dirt. <laughs> I like to use two items for one very good reason. As you remember, I call this hopper the first sorter. If we want to make this to work, the first way to do this is filling it up with the block we want to sort. And then on top, placing four sorters. And let me... Yep. Eh, stop. And then on top, placing four sorters like this and a stack this will go down to 40 like so as you can see they ended up here and one is in here that is what it's supposed to happen but you can see we have five stacks one and another and there's a quick fix for that and that's why i like to use another time item so we take these ones like this and now if we place a barrel over here and we fill it with dirt one two one two one two it's pretty quick and over here we can see items are getting pushed and this goes pretty quickly. If you like to set this up like this, like only taking one type of item from the chest or whatever, you could put a double chest and two hoppers pointing into this one. So that would make it double speed. Right now it's not because hoppers first push items out from the funnel and they take from above. That's why this is double speed because this hopper takes the items that are coming from the water stream okay in batches there's a timing i will leave il mango's video there so it will explain how the batches work you will see this thing this is an item butcher thing it works kind of well i'm making tests over there i will let you know but for now the trapdoor doesn't work this, this is supposed to be a trapdoor in il mango's videos but if you place a trapdoor a, a trapdoor a door like this the items will will get stuck because it relies on getting stuck there. It's a whole thing. He does a better job explaining than I do. And it's done. It didn't take that long, you see? That is why I like using two different items to sort stuff. Because you don't lose <laughs> four stacks there. Now, a little hiccup. If you are to use oh, common Leo's double sorted, you can do the very much pretty much the same thing. You see. Most of shaker loaders, double speed shaker loaders, rely on this dropper being filled and then this being filled 
two. So you are using nine, then 19, 15, and a bit stacks. That, that's a lot to use. But I think, yeah, I saw this one. As you can see, over here we have nine, one item here, then 11 with another item here, 12 with a different item from these two, and over here, 12 and a bit with a different item from this one. So, item from this one don't flow into this one, and item from this one don't flow into this or this. But these items can be the same as this one and even this one. So you only need two, to be honest, like these filters, this and this could be all the same. This needs to be different, okay? And yeah, I mean, this could break. <laughs> Any redstone system could break, and that's up to you. Now, this will be the end of today's episode. Hope you like it, leave a like, subscribe, and remember to say happy birthday to me. I turned 30 today. 30. Yeah. Anyway, see you next one. See ya! Hehehe <laughs>